Hi guys, it's Nat here. Hope you're all doing well. I'm on with a second hand haul. Yay! <laughs> uh, I needed some retail therapy. That's always my excuse. So I went online and cleared out the clearance aisle at Witchcraft D&D, which you'll possibly see in an upcoming video. Or you've already seen in a previous video, depending on when I get it and put that video up. I did go to three op shops and bought a pile of junk. Firstly, I got these contacts. I do like using the contacts on my desk to protect my desk and they're so easy to wipe off. So, um, and I do have some already, but I shove them away in a cupboard and they get a bit squashed. And then once they get a bit squashed and you try and roll them out there, they have bumps and that in them and it's not a good look for my filming so I saw these at the second hand shop and I thought I'll grab them put them somewhere where they don't get squashed hopefully this one's been squashed a little so I don't know if that's going to be any good um, and yeah I've got plenty now for my desk for a while I grabbed this it's one of your they're like shoebox containers I think they're photo containers or something but um, I keep picking up these when I see them and they're very handy for storing ephemera like postcards and that sort of thing and I have mainly white furniture for my crafting and that white Ikea stuff because it's cheap and easy to get and I like that you can put a label of what's in it there as well so this one's a bit dirty so it'll need a good clean but it looks good on the inside so I grabbed that nice and cheap there were these two rolls of I assume it's over locker thread I mean I suppose you can still use it with your sewing machine if you've got a rig that you can sit it on but I thought it's handy to have these if you're doing some mass making with clusters or something that you sew together and hand sew and you can just take this out to the lounge and sit there and do a pile of sewing these were a dollar each now there's a stack of cotton on them for a dollar and I really liked those colors there were a couple more but they weren't colors that I thought I would use a lot and I thought using these for my hand sewing means that I don't have to use the um, spools that I've got for the sewing machine so and when I've finished them, I can probably use these cones to wrap something else around, maybe. <laughs> Grabbed a folder, it's very cheap. I like three ring binders, so I thought this one would be good. It's got a few plastic slips in. I use a stack of those. There was this, which is a writing set, I think. But at first I thought it was a folder that you could alter, but it is a writing set. But I thought I can take the writing, the paper and the envelopes out and then cover the folder and make something out of that. I think it's, yeah, it's a paper pad by the looks. It's just stuck in there, I think. It's quite a nice pad too. Yeah, it is stuck to the back, so I won't rip it off just yet. I have to do that carefully. But I like that they're craft coloured envelopes. Are they envelopes? Oh no, they're cards. It must be cards and envelopes. Oh, that's nice. So it's got really nice writing paper. It's got these cards. I've seen that pattern everywhere. And then here we've got the envelopes. They're lovely. It's quite a nice set and a folder that I could reuse. I should use that as my creep on june folder <laughs> we're all into the creep on june at the moment it's been heaps of fun so all right put that to the side my rubbish away then there were a stack of sewing things well actually no i'll start with that afterwards do this first there was this bag full of these i think they're wooden plaque things quite heavy but they're quite nice too I thought they would be neat to do something with I mean you could collage on them decorate them in various ways I thought you could also like hang three of them together with some rope or something and make something nice so that's a thought
and there's enough there that if I stuff up one, I've got another, so it's always important. There was this bag, I'm pretty sure it was $3, and it's Christmas fabrics. And I quite enjoy using these sorts of fabrics to make embellishments in my Christmas journals. There's a nice selection there. Just nice little pieces too, that's beautiful. Make some Christmas clusters. Someone's been making bells, I think. That's lovely too. Looks like a project that's been started, some quilting, maybe. This beautiful one. So that's a lovely little bag of Christmas fabrics. There was this spool of lace, it's gathered blue lace, which I don't really need, but I thought the price was really good for this, you know, what's on there. And it's a wider one, which is really nice. Sometimes I like a gathered lace too. If not, I'll just cut the end off or unpick it. Some more fabric. This looks nice and vintage though. And when I looked at it, it reminded me of the story, you know, the Heidi that everyone likes. For some reason it reminds me of that. There's a stack of it there too, definitely vintage. It's beautiful. It's like got a waffle texture. Now I'm trying to think if that's seersucker or you do call it waffle. Anyway, I'll call it waffle because it makes me hungry looking at it. So that's a lovely piece, nice and vintage. Okay, next, there was a bag of buckles. Thought that'd be handy to have because they're all similar, so if I want more than one on the same project, they are matching. Now, the, I went to my favorite op shop where everything's really cheap and it's very junky. And they just have bags of random stuff and they had heaps of bags of trims so I just grabbed them all because they're so cheap so there were one or two things I saw in here that I wanted so I grabbed it what do we have <laughs> yeah so all of this must have been individually priced and it sort of didn't sell so they just put it in a bag because this has a dollar on it I think that's elastic yeah there's some elastic a candle which I'll probably put back in the shop another candle just thinking, 51. I could keep that for my kids' birthdays, but I don't think I'll be around. <laughs> Never know. Um, that's interesting. There's bits to make something. I have no idea what though, but there's bits I can use on there. Little bits of felt, some little bows, and some black bits of blank. I'll see if I can figure out what it was for. Oh, the black beads. There's some pimp things. They almost look like tongues, but they're probably paws. I'm thinking a cat or something. Anyway, I can use the little bits of felt and little beads and the bows. These are self-cover buttons. There's only three of them there. That's all right, I've got a collection of those. And I quite like the packaging as well. To put in a journal, even if it's all wrinkly and that. It's nice and vintage. 30 cents at Kmart. What's this? Joan. I know a Joan. I have to 
send it to her. Don't know what else I'd do with that. It's a bit dirty. That's a stick on one by the looks. Sticky notes. Not sure why I grabbed this. Probably the self cover buttons. There are some cards in here though. Oh, they're quite nice. Definitely use those. They've got nice sayings in them. So that's cool. If I don't like one of them, I'll just cover it. They'll be used. And what is this? Looks like a stamp book, but I don't think so. That's to hold your cards, is it? That might come in handy too. All right. That was a very random bag. What else did we get? I got a photo album. I love these. I rip the pages out and I use these to store ephemera. And they are awesome for it and so cheap. And it's reusing something that everyone's getting rid of. But yeah, love it. They're nicely padded in that too to protect your ephemera pieces. There was this. It looks so... <laughs> ruined look at the sticky tape and stuff but it looks really vintage so I just had to get it because it looks vintage and ruined <laughs> let's see if any of it's any good it's got the embroidery thread though and again so so cheap I can tell it's in the bag that it initially came in <laughs> it's vintage the sticky tape's not that vintage Is that rand, rand randed? It must be stranded. No, is it randed? Is that the brand? No, it is stranded. <laughs> Semco, it's Semco. So some nice colours there, which is great. I do use a fair bit of that at times. Sometimes for binding in my signatures. I did do a cross stitch recently because I got a die that cuts out from Global Land. I got the die that cuts the holes out for you to be able to cross stitch on a tag. Now, oh good, it's not just, oh I thought that is great. It, the sticky tape's on this plastic that's holding all the books. I thought it was one of the books. Anyone want any vintage sticky tape? That looks really gross, it does. It's going in the bin. Nice. So that might be the pattern that goes with these colors. Blue, yellow, yeah, it looks like it. Lovely. They're lovely patterns, aren't they? That's a lovely little piece of ephemera to put in a journal. Look how old that one looks. That's so cool. I'm so glad I got that now. That's the thing about that shop. You see the bags and you really don't want to open them up and go through the stuff in the store. So I'll just grab them because it's like between 50 cents and $3 they usually are. Just see what they have in them. And I'm really glad I got this one because these are nice and old. like most people my grandmother used to do a lot she made doilies and did the little tatting and embroidery and that so it does um, have some sentimental value these types of things cross stitch On it. I don't know, can I open it or is it stuck together? Some beautiful patterns. <laughs> Look at 
that. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it ra that right? Why would you bother? <laughs> I've never seen so much sticky tape on one piece of paper. Oh my goodness. <laughs> it's like made the paper see through, <laughs> it's just disintegrated under the sticky tape. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> I assume that's what you'd call not archival <laughs> sticky tape. Anyway. <laughs> Aren't they gorgeous patterns though? Moth eaten or mouse eaten? <laughs> Munched on. Oh, don't pull it off, Nat. Nice vintage staple. Remove that before I stick myself with it and get some disease. I know, I know, everyone wants rusted stuff in their work these days, but that's a cool piece too. Until December the 1st, 1959. Free offer. Very, very cool. It's nice when you get a date on something. That is really cool, that package. Some buttons. Um, for some reason, I liked the packaging that they're on. They might end up staying on the packaging because I think if you take them off, it'll fall to pieces. I think they're fabric or plastic. It's very hard to tell. They're fabric buttons. There was this set of cards, didn't have a price on, so she gave them to me for 50 cents, which I think is awesome. So the swap cards, we have Mount Isa Mines. Explore Australia with Pioneer Tours. Uh, these are Nabisco, the manufacturers of Vitabrits. Were the manufacturers of Vitabrits, I think. I don't know if they're still around. So they're car ones and something else. Oh, that looks so 70s. Look at that, mining away underground with his safety helmet and his Bonds, Bonds singlet and some shorts. Very safety conscious. They're interesting. And look, these had two dollars on them. Someone must have moved the cards around so you couldn't see that price because I got them for 50 cents. Although I buy so much that I think they go easy on me. Nice and blurry, these ones are. And these are golden fleece swap cards. Oh, that one's interesting. TV ballet. Weird, very weird. That one's cute. That was an interesting lot. A bit different. They almost look like Polaroids, those ones. And it has this, these. Someone's made butterflies. They look like flower petals, but they've been made into butterfly brooches with glitter. I suppose I could take the clips off. Clips would come in handy for something. And then 
stick them on a journal, maybe a tropical themed journal or something, possibly. Not really my thing, but I don't like saying that because I never know what I'm going to be doing next. And these, this is why I bought the bag though. I thought these look really cool. There's some sort of, I don't know, sort of cement stuff, clay-ish. The dangles. I am working on an underwater journal and I saw these and I thought, oh, they're lovely. I don't know if they'll actually go with what I'm doing, but I'm sure I'll do more than just one underwater sort of themed journal. So, and I really love those. I saw this in there. I wasn't going to get it, but then it intrigues me. So we will see. Could use it as a closure of some sort. Maybe that's what I'd do because it's got these things. So I had to get it for that. And then it has just some cords, which you can use as closures as well. More black cords, a whole lot of black cords. They have a fifty on them. It's another one of the bags that obviously just got put together in a bag to try and sell it. And we have this gratitude heart. Can definitely use that heart again. And then, should I get more buckles? I've got a buckle and a little clip. That's a cool little clip, actually. Okay, now I think we're up to the trim bags. So there were all these trims that were just all over the place, so I grabbed them because they were obviously in a bag and got taken out, so she just, I think she gave them to me at a cheap price. Uh, this is just the fluffy stuff. No, it looks probably a bit dusty and dirty, so I think I'll bin that. Otherwise, I would put it in my scrap threads, but it does look a bit dirty. Uh, this trim. I love random bits of trim and that. Isn't that lovely? It's got rocking horses on it. So that's very sweet. Got piles of this sort of lace, but more the merrier. Just have to start using it, won't I? Don't have this one, I don't think. That's nice, it's an off-white. Oh, there's a fair bit of that too. Stacks, look at it all. Got this one, which is a gathered one with an island one in between. That's quite pretty. This one, which is already wrapped around some cardboard for me. That's nice. I've got some hat elastic, which is always handy if I want to tie my signatures in. So this bag has some nice off-white cotton. Nice big roll of it. That'll be coming really handy. I don't know if it's off-white or it's just dirty on the outside. <laughs> this looks like some vintage lace. It's been tied up. Won't untie it. I'll just show you. Yeah, that's very old and soft. Delicate. Some of this thicker stuff. That's lovely too. It's a really nice colour on that one. It's almost like coffee. It's more real delicate vintage lace. Some of that sparkly yellow. Some nice trim. That is lovely, that one. Similar, what do you call this stuff? It's not braided, I can't remember the name for it. It's pretty though, some edges. Some of this trim. That's real pretty for a baby, baby journal of some sort. Probably a little golden book. There was this elastic stuff, which 
for vintage and that. I know it's like meant for underwear and that, but I really like the colour of it. So I would find ways of using that. That one's really nice, that lemon one. And I've got pink. Some fake flowers. They're all pretty, those blue ones. This, which has come off of some clothing. Vintage. <laughs> Little baby. I think that'll be going back to the shop. Although you could make a dangle with it, couldn't you? Oh, I'd keep anything to make stuff with. Some white, some more white, but this is very, this is nice and old, soft. Where is the end of it? There we go. That's lovely. It's got rust marks on it from a pin. Some peach. Don't know how well you can see these. I must get some more contact down. This is really nice too. I think that's vintage as well. Dusty pink. An eyelet. It's like a broidery, I think. With your pink ribbon through it. Some more broidery. This is lovely. Feels vintage as well, nice and soft, and it's got the blue cotton. And this is interesting. Someone's done a bit of a embroidery on that piece. Have to give it a wash, but I think they're rust stains. It's an interesting material that it's on. It's very soft. Some black. Some eyelet that's bright pink. This stuff, it's weird lace. Oh, it's sticking to me. This is beautiful peach colour. A scalloped lace. Ooh, lovely, love the coffee. Coffee coloured one down there. Got stacks of this. Yeah, that's lovely. This is, oh, this is great. I think it's a material measuring tape, which is awesome for, oh no, it is plastic, but it's very, very thin. Or nylon, whatever it is. That can be used to make some embellishments, or I could even keep it and use it as a measuring tape. That would be a novel idea, wouldn't it? <laughs> Some more of your underwear elastic. Um, so we've got a nice green. That's like a mint. And then this colour. There's a stack of it. I've got another one in there too. A nice wide peachy pink lace, very soft. It's very pretty too. Great for belly bands, that one. Ouch. Some of your eyelet, sparkly eyelet. Oh, nice narrow pink. That is really pretty, that one. Got a bit of sparkle in it. Some tartan ribbon. Nice thick one there. That's lovely too, definitely vintage. As is this one. Some of this sort of fringe-like trim. Nice wide, just off-white I think. Some more 
sort of apricot coloured. So yes, definitely hit the um, lace jackpot this time around. There hasn't been a lot around lately. It's interesting, it's a nice silky thread. Couple more bags. I didn't even really look at them, I just grabbed them all. I saw one trim or lace that I liked and I was like, yeah, for the price, so, so worth it. Such a good way of stocking up on a lot of different types. And it's easy to fit these little bits and pieces into storage than buying a whole, like, roll, new roll. So this is lovely satin, yellow satin ribbon. This is elastic and it's got a beautiful pattern on it. Very delicate white lace. Take all the pins out of this after. That one's really pretty as well. I think that's the right way. Just looking at this pile thinking, oh my goodness, I have to roll all of that now onto some cardboard must redo my lace storage sometime but I don't have time for it this month so I'll have to bag all of this until I do have time it's a lovely trim a bit different it's the black one of them things I think someone's told me before what it's called I can never remember all these names oh this is nice look at that imagine tatting that that is so tiny and delicate, beautiful. Just some generic white. This is nice, something different. Coffee stained color. Lovely with the flowers on it. Just some white. vintage again so soft isn't it the vintage delicate vintage laces are so soft some lovely trim two more bags This is a lovely broidery on glaze. Nice baby blue. Oh, this is great. <laughs> Chickens and roosters. That is really old too. And look at how much there is. There's stacks of it. All different colours. So pink, purple and blue. Love that. A nice brown, which is great. Brown's not a colour you get often that I find in laces. But it is a colour that I do like using a fair bit. Browns and greens for your nature journals, but you don't find laces in those colours often. That's gorgeous. And there's a nice stack of that. Really delicate lace again. I think we've all got some of this stuff. <laughs> that one's nice. A narrow black one there. This looks really straggly, doesn't it? Which is awesome. Oh yeah. I think I've got some of this too somewhere. Let's see if I can cut it off and open it up. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? If I can unwind it the right way. Fine netting. Little trim scrap. These are all quite 
sort of similar as to what we've seen previously, so I won't bother showing you too much. Last bag. So more of this bright yellow sparkly one. Some of your curtain stuff. This one's interesting. Interesting colours on that one. I'd have to take that out from my retro journal, which I must get on with. Some beautiful blue here. Oh, that's lovely. Again, really soft. Very delicate. That is beautiful lace. Definitely lucked out with the lace this time around. That's different too. Nice wide white one. Great for pockets. Another one of these. They're really sort of fine ones. This is the last one. Isn't that beautiful with roses on it? So that was it for my secondhand shop. I was really, really happy with that. To find all of those different laces was such a bonus. To have so many vintage ones too, which is rare these days. So I really enjoyed that. I so needed it. It was so good to get out of the house and that. Been cooped up for a good few weeks. So I really needed to get out in the fresh air and get my legs moving and get some retail therapy. I hope that you have managed to do the same. Do take care of yourselves and I will see you again soon. Bye.